Hi, it's Keith Townsend from the CTOadvisor.com with another afternoon coffee chat. Talking a little bit AWS, Amazon Web Services. Timothy Prickett Morgan over at the platform wrote a really interesting uh, blog post, very detailed, talking about the advantages of Amazon Web Services, the lead that both Microsoft and Amazon have over their competitors, including Google Compute, as well as the recently defunct uh, HP Helium Cloud that we talked about yesterday, and Rackspace and other providers. It, it, the graphs are undeniably, unmistakably true. Amazon and Microsoft have a commanding lead in um, public cloud. One of the things that really intrigued me about his post was that he made the jump from if HP and Dell can't succeed in public cloud, why would we as enterprise managers, architects, CTOs trust the very same companies to implement a private or hybrid cloud? That rationale made me rise an eyebrow a little bit. I think it's an invalid or broken log logic to say that if a company can't succeed at something that is large scale and as public as a public OpenStack cl cl cloud, why would we want them to implement a private cloud for us? Look at all the success that Amazon has had. With that same logic, I'd say that Amazon should be able to provide private cloud services to every enterprise and uh, that HP and Dell would service. That logic doesn't work. Amazon's model is to build monolithic data centers, albeit of you know seven, eight, nine of them. Service focus their support and support efforts around that design and architecture, being able to send and replacement parts, scale up the environment as needed, needed stage equipment for scaling out, schedule maintenance, shift personnel back and forth. The logistics of public cloud kind of makes sense for a public for someone focused on public cloud now you take those same logistics and try to scale them out to a private cloud provider and providing the same types the same type of support where you have to worry about failed hard drives failed cpus updates remote hands power uh, envir and other environmental concerns to a worldwide footprint with thousands upon thousands of sites? Could Amazon execute as well as a HP or Dell? I'd have to say, well, not to say that they couldn't. It, it would be that it would be a challenge for them just because they were successful at public cloud and managing a handful of data centers doesn't mean that they'll be successful managing a great number of data centers takes us back to the original premise of the blog post. Tim made the, or Timothy made the point that HP failed in a very public manner when it comes to OpenStack. And they're still pushing OpenStack private cloud, their Helium service, as a platform that you should trust them to roll out. And if you failed at public cloud, then you shouldn't be trusted necessarily to deploy private cloud. Again, much, much different scenario, a different challenge. I don't think the, it was a problem with the OpenStack platform that HP selected. It was all about execution and scale. Plain and simple, Amazon and Microsoft have a huge head start against anyone, no matter what the cloud platform they choose, trying to compete with Amazon and Microsoft and now Google at public cloud is a bit risky of an endeavor. As I talked about it a couple of days ago, Rackspace is having a really hard go at it themselves. So to think that HP would be able to compete against the giant cloud providers would be a bit of a stretch. But that doesn't discount the fact that they would be able to deploy a really capable so much, much smaller scale salute private cloud solutions for their enterprise customers. So, you know what? It's an interesting post. Uh, if you're interested in it, the website is theplatform.net. And Timothy Prickett Morgan is the author. I'd love to hear your feedback. Hit me up on the Twitters. I'm at CTO Advisor. 
And the blog is www.thectoadvisor.com. Talk to you guys next chat.